Which one of you leads these people? What the hell's it matter? Then I'll just address all of you. Your people crossed into our land. There will be no conflict. Your people killed our people. There will be no conflict. I'm done talking. Bring me my daughter, or there will be conflict. Welcome to Knock Row Nation. Welcome back, guys. I'm Jarrell. And I am Josh. And today we're here to give our predictions for episode 11 of The Walking Dead, Bounty. Bounty. And this is going to be a good episode. And we also are going to be going through the opening minutes breakdown. Um, the video is no longer on YouTube. They've striked that, blocked it due to copyright. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> but was able to find some pictures from other YouTubers that have uh, were able to scrape that off. And we get a cool flashback in the opening minutes but yes before yeah. we start though i do want to give some sad news uh it kind of will affect our recording schedule uh my father-in-law unfortunately has passed away um god rest his soul um so with that said our schedule will be a little bit thrown off the only thing that that will affect is we will be a little late on our getting our review of bounty out Yep. So, uh, yeah, that'll just be like a day or two, maybe a day late. Um, nothing major, but I uh, just want to let you guys know about that. Yeah, definitely. So. But anyway, guys, uh, let's get started with our predictions for the episode. But first, before we get into our predictions, sorry, again, um, <laughs> let's uh, let's go over the, the uh, sneak peek or the... Um, what is it? Opening, Opening minutes? minutes? Yeah. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go over that first and then we'll read the, the synopsis and all that. So, in the opening minutes, we are going to be getting a flashback. Um... We get a uh, kind of a meeting with Ezekiel, Carol, and Jerry. How do you know it's a flashback? Uh, well, I already know. I just want because I, we are getting the return of a dead character. Jesus, Jesus. is coming back. <laughs> so we don't know what time frame this is in the timeline. So as you guys can see from the picture, Carol's hair is a little bit shorter. There is another shot in here where you'll see a little bit better. So um, they get they show a little cool shot of the watch that Ezekiel's looking at, and it's showing 9-11, which is the episode. Kind of a fun little tidbit there. But Jerry is actually announcing that him and his girl, uh, Nabila, is expecting a child. Yeah, and you um, can see that by the warm embrace of the King Ezekiel here in this shot. Um, you know, congratulating him on the news of, of, his, of his child. Um, it throws a little wrench into our predictions that we stated earlier about the, the Pike lineup. Um, yeah. As you know, I'll, I'll let you go into the second part of this, but as you know, we believe Rosita will take her comic counterpart um, as far as being one of those heads on the Pikes uh, because she's pregnant and that follows her comic book storyline. Right. So could they throw a wrench in this and <clears throat> put uh, Nabila up there? Now, as we said, we don't know where in the timeline this is. It could be a couple years. So then if it is a couple years... Then she's already had the child. Yeah. But either way, it doesn't necessarily. She has to be pregnant to be on the pike. They could re just replace her anyway instead of Rosita. I have no idea. But it was just kind of a thought. Yeah. Um, and the reason why yeah. I personally think they will still continue on with Rosita is this next picture that you're seeing now, um, and that is Carol confirming the short hair because in that first picture you couldn't really tell. Mm -hmm. um, this picture you can clearly tell her hair is shorter. Um, from the way her hair is now, I would think that that is way past a pregnancy of nine months. I don't know how fast hair grows, right? but that's a lot of hair. Her hair is long now, so yeah. I'm thinking this is probably <clears throat> three years prior. At that's least two. Two to three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least. So, And there are other indications of this as well. Yep. So uh, we do get the return of Jesus. Here he is. And what's interesting about this fact is that Jesus is... Uh, coming to have a meeting with Ezekiel. And first off, Ezekiel kind of gives him a little bit of supplies. He gives him some medicine. Um, he says that Maggie couldn't be here due to there's still some illness at the hilltop. Um, Carol is very surprised to see Tara because she thinks that she was going to be at Alexandria. But Tara is going to be telling Michonne she's not coming back. She's going to the hilltop. And she insinuates that She'll probably be kind of mad about it because Maggie is not a fan of Michonne right now. So it's leading into still, you know, I think an upcoming episode where we'll probably find out 
what this rift has been between these communities and why Michonne and Maggie have this, you know, this issue with each other. Yeah, which is leading up into that episode called Scars, which I believe yeah. is where we will find. I think this whole rift with the communities ultimately, as I said in previous predictions, will lead up into the finale. It'll have something to do with the finale. But it's also kind of a cool side story mm -hmm. going on while the Whisperer main arc is happening as yeah. well. So, so we get into the the really cool part of this uh, opening minutes is that so Tara gets this um, document holder document holder from her horse poster and, holder. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she gives it to Ezekiel, and what this is is that this is the charter. So Michonne, uh, back in the season premiere, was talking with Rick about hey. What do you think we come up with a set of rules for the community? Remember her line of uh, things, uh, things what would happen to you if you do bad things or good things and things that will happen to you if you do bad things. Line, yeah, but kind something that, along the lines exactly. of that. Exactly. And so Rick was kind of like like a constitution. She says, no, a charter. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I mean, yeah. she always pushed for that, mm -hmm. you know, back when they were first beginning to start this war. Before Rick was gone, she was all about the communities coming together, yeah. staying together. But what's cool is they're literally <laughs> unfolding this like it's the constitu Constitution. Right. Uh, yeah. And then we get the charter. The awesome reveal. The, the multi-community yeah. charter of rights and freedoms. But go you read it. Me, can I? Read this. Listen to these words and tell us what you think this is. Any person who would live in peace and fairness, who would find common ground, this world is yours by right. That's Rick Grimes, baby. That is Rick Grimes. <laughs> and I mean, reading that gives me goosebumps. Taking I love those words. that line. I, I love, love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's so cool they took his words. And, you know, the next couple of shots are just showing uh, just, you know, the articles there. Um, the last shot now, it's, you know, talking with Josh beforehand. It, it's So they have Alexandria, the kingdom, and Oceanside. Go ahead and tell your thoughts on it. So as you're probably seeing, you're like, where the heck is the where's, where's Hilltop, right? Um, so in... After the opening minutes, it cuts back to current time, and Ezekiel is looking at this document. So if you look at this last shot, it's showing the hilltop. Now, could you assume that, okay, maybe at first Michonne didn't have the hilltop on there? Well, I don't know. She wasn't mad at Maggie back then, or maybe she was a little bit. Who knows? Or did, or did uh, Ezekiel amend that and add the hilltop onto it? Or is it just being covered up and us to make us believe, okay— is Ezekiel covering it up with his hair in the previous shot, or did he yeah. add it on later? And that's what I think. So I'm yeah. I, I'm thinking that they are they are giving this this sneak peek to us, or this trailer, or this they're giving this information, wanting us to think that. Um, so I'll give you my evidence to support the fact that I think it's covered up. Um, if you're looking at the shot now, you see the hilltop. If you were to line this document up, comes under the D of under, so right in this world under. And then if you go back to our previous shot, um, his hair is at the end of right. under, uh, which the beginning of Hilltop starts about the D of under. I don't know if we can even show our viewers that. But yeah. anyway, I think it is being covered up. But either way. It just makes it – I mean, way. I mean, I think even my theory, it doesn't make sense either because Maggie and uh, Michonne weren't at odds early on when she yeah. – but it, but what the reason I'm thinking that is, when did she finish this? Well, and you know here's the deal: if she finished this after Rick left, yeah. she may have left the hilltop off of there. But here's the deal: um, there's no signatures. Nope. So either way, they're not together they're, yet. They're not making any ground. And let's assume that this is three years after Rick. There's still no progress. There's still no signatures. And I think this is simply just the hilltop and. Um, the kingdom coming together saying, hey, here's this. This was once Maggie uh, or Michonne's vision. Mm -hmm. Let's, even though she doesn't want to work on it, let's at least work on it on our end. So it's it's an interesting opening minutes. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. Not sure how much more we're going to see that charter if maybe we'll look at it again when it's getting close to the fair. Um, but I think this is going to be a big piece into bringing the communities together for this fair. So I think it was really cool to add that. It's going to be cool. Yeah. And to see yeah. Jesus again. Why yeah. not? Oh yeah. Of course. <laughs> Anytime. So, uh, episode 11 bounty. Um, the savage group led by alpha confronts the hilltop in a harrowing attempt to retrieve her daughter. 
A supply run for the kingdom turns into a dangerous quest. Yep. Um, I cannot wait to see this interaction yes. with Alpha and Daryl at the Hilltop. Yes, this was one that I waited on. I knew they were going to leave it at a kind of a cliffhanger, an episode cliffhanger of her getting to the Hilltop um, and leaving it open, you know, for, for the scene that we've all waited for. Yeah, which would have gone to Maggie, but... Um, you know, they did, they did a really great job. If you watch the, if you look at Skybound's, um, YouTube page, they have a panel to comic video that they come out with each week. Uh, very cool. And it, it allows, uh, you show viewers to see how they, how that lines up almost exact to the comics, especially even the lines of what Alpha said about no conflict. I mean, she said the same thing in the com in the comics as yeah. well. And Maggie was kind of saying, you know, Hey, we're going to. If you want to, if you want beef, we'll give you beef right now. But Alpha's like, no, 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 that's not what I want. I don't want that. <laughs> and that's what we get in the sneak peek of this yeah. episode. There have been a couple sneak peeks, and it's mainly yeah. her talking to the communities at the beginning upon her arrival, and then Daryl coming out and talking to her, yeah. uh, where she essentially threatens Daryl, open ended threat, and unmasks Luke and Alden. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So this is my prediction, and I think I've said this before on how this episode is going to turn out. Daryl and the Hilltop are not going to give Lydia back. They're not going to want to give to Lydia back. And a matter of fact, they are going to say no to Alpha. That's that's pretty much what the sneak peek is. Um, but they're going to reveal that they have Alden and Luke. Alton. Alden. Alden. With a D. God, yeah. I hate that. <laughs> um, and they're going to be forced to give Lydia back. Yeah, because there's a there's a shot in the the opening photos where it shows the community, you know, standing at the hilltop gate. Like the door is open, and they're yep. all standing there. They're not on top anymore. Yeah. They're standing there. So it must be like when as Lydia comes out, either maybe when Lydia comes out and they're watching her go and making sure that they give Luke and Alden back, or it's like they're so concerned when they see that they're just like, oh my god, we gotta. Maybe they're gathering up to be like, if we gotta fight, we're gonna fight. Could also be you when Daryl comes out. Could also be, yeah. So opening it for Daryl, but it's it's going to be interesting. Can you not wait for uh, the reaction between Alpha and Lydia when Lydia gets returned? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, she's I gonna wonder be, what she's going to. Alpha's going to be pissed. Yeah, like I, because to Lydia, like she made a mistake. She made a mistake. Yeah. Uh, to, well, to, I should say to Alpha. Alpha is going to be like, you allowed yourself to get captured, and what just and what you tell him? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it's going to be. It's not going to be like, oh, oh my God, my daughter, I love you, I miss you so much. It's going to be like, or does she do what that? The hell, did you? Or do? does she do that to put on like a, a show? A show, or or show it up to the hilltop? Like, oh yes, I'm this loving mother. Not no no because, because she's she, got the other whispers. Around she's got her. the other whispers around. So Alpha has to keep that dominating effect. And even in the comics, she was mad at Alpha. She was like, "Where is your mask? Well, let's get you, you mean Lydia. Lydia, sorry. Alpha was like, "Where is your mask? Let's get you another one. Put it back on because they don't take those masks off well, ever she did. because she can. <laughs> she's <laughs> Alpha. But yeah, like like you said, I, I I'm wondering. I don't think she's gonna put on a show. I think she's just going to like. Lydia will walk out. Alpha will give her a look. They'll turn around and they will just walk away. And that'll be it. It won't. There won't be any words spoken. It'll just be turn around, walk away. Boom. Maybe Lydia will be like, "I'm sorry, mom," and she'll say either do you, probably do you think nothing. Alpha says anything to the hilltop as she turns around and walks away. I'm just trying to think of what she would say, like. After maybe she exchanges them, maybe she mentions something about don't cross into don't our cross into our boundaries again, um, and there'll be no conflict. Um, I, I'm I'm really curious more about that Daryl. Usually in the comics, at least that doesn't come until they right. actually get into their territory yeah. again. Um, I'm really curious about what Daryl. I mean, know that they're going to give Lydia back, but what would Daryl say as they're leaving? You know, like don't show up here again. Like I, I what would I don't because nothing's going to happen until. I, we believe Henry is going to go out because he's going to be pissed. Yeah. He's going to go out, try to find her. That's our next prediction. Yeah. And we've even seen in the sneak peek that Daryl even believes at this point that Lydia is a good person right. and has just been damaged by what her mother has done to her. Yeah. So he is, he would be fully on, I, I think he would be fully on board with Henry going to get Lydia 
if just, it wasn't Henry. If it wasn't right? Henry, and he probably he didn't go owes by himself. Carol, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think he's gonna find out, and that's when he goes. So it's gonna be Ben that goes after Lydia. Daryl's gonna Henry, go Henry, after Ben. Henry, Henry, you mean? Dude, <laughs> I know. How many times do I do that? We've got, we've both done. It. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah. Henry, Lydia, Daryl, Henry. Yeah. So do rest- we get do we get Beta in this episode? No. At the end? Maybe they show something where, like, as... Cliffhanger? Like, as they're bringing Lydia back to the camp, maybe Beta will be in the background. Don't He doesn't say anything, but he'll just be in the background. Like, they're basically shunning her. You know, maybe they'll throw her in a cage, and because this is your penance for doing this, throw, put you in a cage. And Beta maybe says something like, We should take them now. <laughs> And Alpha's like, no, not yet. But you don't speak until I tell you to. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know. Something, you know what I'm saying? Like something badass. I have no idea. Um, so uh, the, the, the rest of the synopsis about the kingdom. Um, there you go. In my opinion, is just filler uh, for this episode. Well, I, I saw there was a sneak peek. Um, so Ezekiel and them, they travel. There's some, they go to some movie theater. And they, they start killing a bunch of walkers. So they're doing some type of, like they said, supply run. Something happens. I mean, when you throw a dangerous quest in there, how... I mean, I think they get trapped inside there by the a movie theater or something. Yeah. Or someone um, gets trapped. Oh, God, Jerry. Yeah. Oh. Look, they're going to throw some suspense in it. Oh, they are. One of our characters is going to be threatened. But this is not going to serve... I don't... In my opinion... Excuse me. I don't think it's going to serve the overall arc very well. I think that this is just going to be filler uh, to complete an episode Mm -hmm. to keep the kingdom involved in this. Right. Um, Especially from the opening minutes. I mean, they're going to have to throw something into where maybe Ezekiel is still pondering. You know, Carol's still beating into his head. We have to get the communities together. You know, she's going to mention about this charter. We have to do this. They are going to reference the fair. Um, That is going to be beat into our heads until the final episode, the final two episodes. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I don't think that we're going to get much from the kingdom aspect of this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not going to have anything to do with the whispers, in my opinion. I'll be shocked. Not for them. Yeah. You know, unless they're still just being watched, but I, I doubt it. Yeah. I seen Agreed. So all in all, I think this is going to be an awesome episode. We cannot wait for the, uh, the opening minutes and the interaction at the hilltop. It's going to be no just major deaths, guys. Terrifying. Not in my opinion. I don't think there's going to be major deaths. No, I don't even think there's going to be any deaths with, with our survivors at all. Maybe some walkers. Some walkers. Yeah, that's normal, <laughs> right? Uh, but let us know your thoughts of the, uh, especially the opening minutes and the charter, uh, seeing Jesus in the flashback, and just your overall predictions of how episode 11 bounty is going to go. Um, do you hope that we get to see Beta at least once? If he doesn't say anything, just standing there looking menacing, even if it's not like a, if he's not in focus, you just know it's Beta standing there. Yeah, you know something. Let us know what you think, guys. I am my whole point of this episode is I want to see the interactions, yes. uh, the scenes between these characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm really looking forward to the acting of of the actress. I forgot her name that plays Alpha. Samantha Morton. Thank you. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah, can't wait. Can't wait. So let us know in the comments, guys, and make sure if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe. Hit the video a like. It helps uh, with the series and the channel, and we truly appreciate it. Follow us on Knock Nation on Twitter and Facebook, and stay tuned for our review for episode 11. I'm Jarrell. And I'm Josh. We're Knock Nation. We're, We're out. out.